Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the cube pixel mod. I was about to say SMP but I would have been 100% incorrect. So if you guys remember last episode, this was a while ago. This was a full like five hours ago of recording for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting all these videos together now. So you guys might have seen a part of this video already. But we are going to be joined by William, otherwise known as King Tong. And he is live streaming right now and he's burning down a jungle. And I want to go over there as soon as possible. Because I really want to see how the uh, spawn... I'm gonna move this really quick the spawning mechanics work in the jungle because if you guys don't don't didn't watch me a while ago like two or three years ago I built the most insane uh, boss farm and I learned how the spawning mechanics worked in the jungle and I just took full advantage of it and I want to see if I can do that again <laughs> I really want to do it again um, but last episode we caught this lovely is it a guy it's a girl oh it is a girl perfect we got this lovely girl she's got a neutral nature which is actually I'm, I'm happy with that I'd rather a neutral nature than a risking a bad nature and we also caught this lovely man <laughs> this lovely manly Gardevoir who's got the worst nature possible pretty ah, second worst nature worst would have been special attack uh, H1 hop on team speak. I will join him in a second, but he's got a boosted attack and lowered speed defense as the brave nature And unfortunately, I do have a curlia But they're both dudes, so I can't breed them yet even though I really really want to I Can't start breeding them yet So that's another goal I want to get done today is get a Ralts or curlia or Gardevoir But I want it to be a female very very badly um, but yeah, we have a ton of Pokemon still. I need to organize these a lot better, but I'm very unorganized. You can see there's a bunch of them over here. There's my shiny Butterfree all by itself. <laughs> I don't care about that Butterfree at all. But Pokemon are looking really good. Uh, Larvitar I'm still working on. Uh, just lots of lots of stuff. But we're gonna go fly over to Will. He said I was he's on TeamSpeak and I was talking to him. That's why he wasn't responding here. Uh, H1 to hop on TeamSpeak. But the coordinates are negative 1300, negative 1500, which is very far away actually. Um, but I have tons of money. Uh, <laughs> I mean lots of money, lots and lots of money. I've been selling a ton of TMs that I've been gathering from the boss, um, the, the boss fights and all that kind of stuff that you get. Saw last episode. I've been selling majority of those and I have 141 thousand dollars. I am rich. I want to sell these apricorns too, so they don't take up space. Um, but I'm gonna go help Will out. We're gonna get some. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some lava buckets and also some. Uh, normally, I could get a better deal for these ultra balls, but I'm just not gonna bother. Uh, what do I want? Oh, I just want 24. That should be like what 55, 57. So that's a good amount. That's that's a solid amount. Any good TMs either? Anything good? Flamethrower. I'll take one of those. <laughs> I don't need the flamethrower TM right now, but I just want it just in case in the future because flamethrower is such a good move. And that's really rare to get in the Pokemart. So whenever I have the chance to get a move like that or like Earthquake or something, I will always take it. Um, but if you guys don't know, Mews spawn in the jungle. Which if we could get a Mew, me or Will, I will be so happy. Is That was a... I, I, there was a Minin or Plusle right there. It looked really red. It looked redder than usual. So that might have been a boss. That Spiro is me. Uh, it's not that big. Whatever. Um, but I'm going to go see if I can get some lava, get some flint and steel. I have some iron on me. I just need some flint. Oh, why did my phone go? Brr? Okay. Uh, Will wants me to join him. I'm going to see. Do I have any flint? Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I got a text message and I got a poke right at the same time and I'm just flustered right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have any flint either. So I'm going to go get ready and I'm going to head over to Will's place now. I just found, stop lagging. There we go. I just found the cutest Pokemon ever. I love Apom. I love Apom and Ambipom. They're so adorable. Apom was one of my favorite Pokemon in the anime. He was, he was, he would like troll Ash and steal his hat all the time. I love Apom. He's a little cutie monkey pie. I love him. Please don't have like takedown or something just he shouldn't be that hard to capture i'm just gonna try throwing a pokeball at him so if we find a mew we can actually use all my ultra balls on him please get in there Pump broke okay you know what screw it if he breaks out of this ultra ball i'll send out uh togetic and put him to sleep one two three Wh why why <laughs> Stupid Apom, just get in the Pokeball. You shouldn't be able to fight out like that. Yawn him. And then we'll do. Don't be stuck in here. Oh, thank goodness. I will throw a wish up. And Pokeball, go. Let me get nice and close. I think we should be able to get him on this one. He's asleep and at one health. Three. All right. Okay, if this Ultra Ball does not work, I'm genuinely going to be upset. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. 
I love Apom. Apom's a little cutie pie. But I'll show you what we've been working on. Uh, Will did a lot of work before I actually got here, too. Um, oh, so, dude, okay. So, Will's actually just died <laughs> and spawned back at spawn. So, he's on his way back over here. So, that might be generating a lot of chunks. And also, there's a lot of lava and fire. But we're working on this. And, okay. You know what? I don't think the spawning mechanics are the same anymore. So, I've been wondering if the spawn mechanics are doing the same. And, no. There's a pincer over there. There's been, like, no Pokemon spawning over here. They've all been spawning on the edges. But, now they all spawn over there. So, I think it has changed and is not the same with the leaves anymore. I, I put that there just to keep checking up, up on it every once in a while. Let's see if there's any cool Pokemon over here. Because I haven't... This is the first time I've, I've been in a jungle so far. So, let's... I want to capture this pincer. I like pincer. He's level 15. Let's send out Togetic. Because I think he's actually pretty difficult to capture, if I remember correctly. Just... Just from my knowledge of the Savari zone in Pokemon, he was annoying to capture. So, I'm going to throw up a Wish. And now he's asleep. And Ultra Ball, don't put up a fight with me. Just get in the Ultra Ball and make it super, super easy on me. Yes. Okay, there we go. Um, but Pinsir was one of the first shiny Pokemon I ever caught. I don't know if he was the first or he was the second. I caught him on camera and I remember just being like blown away. It happened while I was making the... Uh, the... The... What should I call it? The, the the boss farm there's up no that's not obsidian i thought that was obsidian but that happened a while ago and i i did that was that, that blue pincer will always have a spot in my heart <laughs> he'll always have it he'll always have my heart is that you? okay the yanma <laughs> silly yanma tricks are for kids is doing some weird stuff um but i'm gonna go around and see if we could find any new pokemon at all because i really want to see what's in the jungle i know that tricos can spawn here or they used to be able to i haven't really checked up on that recently but i love tricos i love i think hopefully other grass type starters can spawn here as well i'm not a big fan of venonats or venomoths yanma's a cool pokemon i love his design but i don't really want him and yan mega sucks he's ugly well he's a good pokemon but he's ugly so i'm gonna pass on him um, but let's see if we can find anyone. See, this is the kind of stuff that makes me think that the leaves are actually working. Because there's just... Like, I just loaded these chunks right now. And there's no Pokemon over here whatsoever. It could just be a complete coincidence. I don't doubt that at all. Um, but it just seems like it's still happening. In my head, at least. I'm, maybe I'm going a little bit crazy. Haven't seen anything. And also, it used to be like I would see a lot of Pokemon get stuck in the leaves. Because they spawn in there and they couldn't move out. Like, this Venonat probably didn't... Okay, no, I... I I still think that they're not spawning in there. Because, like, this Venonat wasn't here a second ago. And I don't think he would have had time to come from some area with a leaf or something like that to get over, to get his butt over there. Okay, what is that Pokemon? There's a small little... That looks like a tiny, like, shiny Whirlipede. <laughs> Please be a tiny, shiny Whirl... No, it's a Venipede. Um, but, yeah, there's not many Pokemon spawning right now. Like I said, Will's on his way over here, so that could be taking a lot of Pokespawns as well. There's a lot of things with this, but as we go on, we'll see how the spawning mechanic works in here. It might just be grass, like every other place, too, though. I found the cutest Pokemon. It's not you, you... Oh, frick off, would you? I found the cutest Pokemon a second ago, and then I went to go set up my recording stuff. I, I think I lost him. Where'd he go? No! I wanted him so bad. I wasn't planning on using him, but he's so adorable that I need to capture him. Oh, no. I lost him. It was a little Chatot. Chatot looks super cute. He's so adorable. In the game, he's the most annoying thing ever because all he did was, uh, when I say in-game, I mean, like, uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Uh, all he would do was, like, supersonic, or not supersonic you. He would use a move that made you confused. I, I don't think it was Teeter Dance. It was something even more annoying. But Apom seemed to be very, very common. So something that I've been noticing. I don't know if this is 100% correct, but they do not... A lot of... What, what is that? Why is it yellow? What Pokemon... Oh, it's Psyduck. Oh, my God. I thought it was, like, a gold execute or something like that. Execute. Oh, that, oh, that got me super hyped up for a second. <laughs> um, but some Pokemon seem to be spawning in leaves, and others seem to be spawning on the ground. Um, like, whenever I come over here... On the ground, there's a ton of Apoms. Tons of Apoms and tons of uh, Psyducks. Psyduck, I don't think, spawns in the jungle. I think he spawns in a river biome around here. Maybe he does spawn in... Because there's another one right here. I'll grab this Master Ball in case you're wondering and get anything good. Um, but there just seems to be a lot of Pokemon repeated over and over again. And then once I start getting to the leaves area, there are a lot of brand new Pokemon. Like, for instance... Uh... Okay. We are in a jungle. Maybe Psyducks do spawn in jungles. I'm just very confused about that. Um, like, Amolga spawn in the grass as well. I don't see them in the leaves. That could be 100% just a coincidence or whatever, but I'm trying to figure it all out now. Um, I have seen Venomoss. I've seen two Venomoss spawn. Okay, those guys just spawn there. So, that, that confirms to me that they don't only spawn in leaves. But I think some Pokemon specifically spawn in here. Like, I've only seen Venomoss and Venonats in here. That's it. So, god dang it. 
<laughs> that's it so far. Other than that, there hasn't been anything else specific. Um, but I'm gonna go see if I can find any more new cool Pokemon. Chatot was the only thing that I saw recently that I really wanted to capture, but I lost him, which kind of sucks. But we burnt down a lot of this area. Oh, hey, Star Avi. I've never seen you down this close to the ground before. Um, but, oh, oh that's a, that's a manky. God dang it. Stupid manky. Go away. But I really don't know where Mew would spawn. Like, Mew might be a Pokemon that only spawns in leaves, or he could spawn on the ground. I'm not going to say which one, like, for sure, but I, I think it's... I, you know what? I don't even know right now. I need to play more of this. I've only been here for, like, an hour, and I had lunch during that as well. So just me kind of running around testing it, burning stuff down, and all that good stuff. But I really want a Chatot now. I started this clip off hoping to capture that chat dot, and now I just can't find them at all. But I think we're going to be done in the jungle if I can't. I'm going to spend like five more minutes looking for them. If I can't find them, then I think we're just going to end, uh, end off the jungle bit of this episode. Wait, where it doesn't It doesn't tell me if it's a Galar guy. I'm up on top of the tower. Oh, I thought you meant the towers that spawn. <laughs> I was just sitting around there doing nothing. Wait, jump down? The, the skyscraper. Wait, no, let's battle on top. Screw that. Yeah, there's the battle arena on top. Is there? Yeah, have you not seen it? No. Oh, this is sick. Hi. Okay, wait, I gotta turn off clouds because yeah. I'm literally in a cloud right now. <laughs> um, how do I turn off clouds with freaking... Uh, sh not, uh, not shaders, Optifine. I don't remember. Details, oh. I think? Oh, no, I can't figure it out. It's oh, in clouds default. Oh, no. Clouds off. There we go. Okay, I'm good. No reason to panic. You ready to go? I gotta turn the music off for this. Let's go. Alright, choose your Pokemon before you send it out. Like, just don't switch it after that. So we don't... Like, whoever goes first or second gets the advantage. Okay. I've never used this Pokemon uh, before. Actually, no. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna start off with this. Okay. Well, I already chose this guy, I guess. <laughs> Except... <laughs> you want this is to gonna be... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what type Gardevoir is. Gardevoir is just a psychic. Oh, it might be Psychic Fairy. Well, can, you, can you just I can't kill do her really quick? Against it. <laughs> well, I don't think I can. Little do you know, my Gardevoir I just caught has no attacking moves. Oh my god. <laughs> so you're going down. Take this in prison. Boom. Oh, you got me. Dang. Good battle, Gardevoir. Very proud of you. Go, Gengar. Oh shoot! Oh no! It's oh god! Oh god! <gasps> yeah, we live in. We live in. <laughs> that was close. Am I able to switch out mid battle? Yeah. Or mid turn? Whatever All right, it is. Screw it. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just take the death. Say so long to your Torterra. Gengar. He's so cute. Okay. And so tiny. I love him. It's so difficult for me to survive any attacks from Gengar. I hate it. Who do I, I want to do that? Oh my god, yeah, I forget. The, oh my god. <laughs> Charizard. Motherfucking Charizard. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what to do here. I like this I battle animation because there's like nothing blocking us. So like all you see is actually like the fight going on. It's not like there's like we're inside our bodies or seeing something stupid. Yeah. Yes, Caleb, oh, I gain XP Charlie, from oh, this? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Please don't be too mean to Lucario. Uh, no, he's gonna die. <laughs> oh, I forget how much like the level difference actually counts. Like ten levels can do a decent amount of damage. Oh yeah. Wait, did you? Bring Are we stuck? Uh, no, we stuck. D slash end battle. Slash end battle. Is it all one word? Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna send out then Charizard. Then put your Charizard, and then I was gonna put. What was I gonna put? I guess I'm gonna have He's to do this. He's staring you down right now. Gengar. Gengar. I have to put out my Gengar. Ooh, ooh, kill him. I don't have anything. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Oh my god, that response was pretty decent. Dude, Gengar's got such a high special attack. It's crazy. What? He's absolutely nuts. Gengar, Gengar is such a cool looking Dude, Pokemon. People, I love him. People are saying, Will, I thought you were supposed to be good at this game. I'm only as good as my Pokemon. <laughs> like, what? You gotta get your training and you gotta take him to the gym and get buff. Gengar. Gengar. Alright, Charlie, you're probably gonna die too. 
Uh, I don't. Oh my god. A critical hit. Earth. Oh my god. Will, I'm a flying type. Earthquake. Come I'm on. An idiot, dude. I'm an idiot. You off with that. I dare you. Yours is so much bigger than mine. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Charizard. <laughs> I was gonna say, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah. I wish my Celebi had some attacks, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I want to kill you with my my Scyther. I want to just destroy you with my Scyther. I'm just gonna keep. Smoking. All I have is Magic Leaf. Wait, what move set does it have? It has. Uh, let me see. Natural Gift, Magical Leaf, Safeguard, and Recover. Oh God. It's not a physical attacker at all. You gotta get that thing some TMs badly. Oh yeah. Say hello to The me. only good thing is recover. Say goodbye to your HP after this hit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a stab four times. <laughs> freaking effective. X scissor from a Jeez. Scyther. Did you have... Was it holding something that boosts it too? Uh, no, it just has a lucky egg. Oh, so my, oh. Gengar had a choice scarf. And my Feraligator and Charizard have leftovers. Whee. Uh, Mine were just all holding lucky eggs and stuff. Ah, uh, So I'm better than you. Cool. <laughs> yep, good fight, kidding. H. <laughs> I would have to take down your team fairy soon, too. I I missed the time locks. <laughs> <laughs> god dang it. Oh my god. How do you manage that? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and I landed like half on the slime block and half on the half slab next to it. <laughs> All right, That's GG so will. Funny. Well, that was a pretty good battle. I, I think my Pokemon are a bit stronger level than him. I want to get just all my main... Like, okay, so I have two main Pokemon right now that I know I'm for sure using. Well, three if you cart in Lavatar, but he's not up there yet. I still need to EV train him. But I have Gengar and Scyther that I love using right now. So I'm trying to get them all up there. And we got this yellow Miss Magius here, which you guys know what I'm going to be doing, of course. Pokemon, uh, for Alligator. Say bye-bye for Alligator. Bye. <laughs> we'll miss you for Alligator. And now we Destiny Bond. Oh my god, you could eat that up for days because that's not very effective because you are a poison type, Mr. Gengar. So, and it's not stab at all, so we're just going to have to keep spamming Destiny Bond, which is going to work. He's going to kill me now. Say bye-bye. You got anything good? Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb and Shadow Claw are good moves. Ranch upgrade? What? What does a ranch upgrade do? Hone Claws is alright as well. Everything else sucks. But we got actually some good stuff from that. Don't want that. Don't want that. I want that. Oh god, my inventory Hone Claws. Shadow Claw, and there was one more. Sludge Bomb, there we go. Okay, we got all the good stuff. Uh, I don't need to heal anyone really quick. I'm going to go home, and we're going to see what exactly this ranch upgrade does. Level Ball, who do I want to try? I Whenever I get Pokeballs, I try to find someone from a decent amount of ways away, like that guy, and try to hit him with the, ultra, the, the Pokeballs. Because they're just a waste of inventory space for me. <laughs> I just want to get rid of them. But I'm going to head home, and we're going to go see what exactly... Uh, this ranch upgrade does because this could be really really helpful so pretty much all the ranch upgrade does which I'm not gonna use yet because there's not much of a point to it right now is allows you more space in here so I'd probably use this one out of all of them let's actually do it screw it let's make it a little bit extra room and see how this works um, I think you just attach it to this thing uh, extend ranch blocks contained area uh, plus X Okay, so it looks like it went that way. Wow, that's it? Okay, well, that's that's still a good item for the future stuff. It allows you pretty much what it will do. It allows your Pokemon to like you more. So if I decide to put, like, water there and, like, breed some Gyaradoses, they, or not like you more, like each other more, I think. Uh, if that makes, uh, I, I can't describe it because I haven't used it yet, but I think that's what it's doing. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let's go see. How much money do I have right now? 98,000. Let's go see really quickly really really quickly if the pokemart has any uh tms that we could buy or maybe some cheap ultra balls or something because the ultra balls can be 1080 as well no it's 1200 right now uh false swipe i have plenty of those i don't need that dragon tail isn't bad i don't need any of that stuff uh what can i sell i do want avalanche actually i don't want embargo i'm never going to use embargo sell that get some quick moolah uh everything else i could get rid of this thick club i already have one of those uh, I want to sell Roost. I don't need it. I, I can't imagine myself putting Roost on a Pokemon anytime soon. And I already know I have two of them. So that's that's an easy $6,000. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Get out of here. I'm right up in your faces right now. Get out of here. <gasps> you knucklehead.